How much value do you put on friendship, and how much do your friends value you? Would you sell off a friendship of yours for a good price? Well, all of these are put to the test on this new raging phenomenon called friend tech. So, what is it? How does it work? And most importantly, is it your friend or foe? Stay tuned as we learn more about this latest crypto craze. The idea of a decentralized social app isn't new. We've seen many iterations of the next Web3 Facebook or Twitter, but FriendTech has been by far the most successful one to date. So what is it? Well, in short, FriendTech is a Web3 social app built on the base network. Almost 300,000 users, 309 million of trading volume. FriendTech was so popular that it pretty much single-handedly helped base surpass Ethereum, Arbitrum, and Optimism in average transactions per second shortly after it launched. Even more impressively, Frentech is also now one of the most profitable protocols, consistently edging out well-known powerhouses like Uniswap, MakerDAO, and even the Bitcoin network. All of these in just a couple of months since its release on August 10th. Funnily enough, the viral app that's captured the entire crypto space by Storm actually didn't start out as friend tech. The social app is founded by a two-person team, Racer and Shrimp. Racer's first foray into decentralized social media was actually TweetDAO, whose egg NFTs granted access to posting from a shared Twitter account. The project went viral before it was eventually shut down. Not long after, Racer returned with another decentralized social platform. Alongside co-founder Shrimp, the two created SteelCam, a Web3 social platform that lets you mint images as NFTs. These aren't normal images, however. You can't see what they are before you buy them, and they can also disappear at any moment. That's because anyone can buy them off of you whenever they like without your consent. That is, unless, of course, you're willing to pay an even higher price to win them back. But in May, the developers decided to rebrand SteelCam to FriendTech, and well, the rest is history. The premise of FriendTech is simple. The app itself lets you buy and sell shares, oh, sorry, I mean keys, of your friends or any other users on FriendTech. The more keys purchased, the more exponentially expensive these keys become. Every buy-sell transaction incurs a 10% fee, half of which goes to the person you are buying from or selling to, and the other half goes to the platform. As a key owner, you gain special access to a chat room with your friends friend where you'll be able to send messages to one another or even enjoy special gated contents shared by the creator. Does that sound familiar? Only fans. But why all the hype? Well, one simple reason for its popularity may be the likely possibility of an airdrop in the future, as suggested by the app itself, which states that points are airdropped every Friday and will have future uses in friend tech. Several popular names are already on friend tech, including popular CT personnel like H. Saka, Kobe, Sisyphus, Pranksy, and more. The friend tech fever has even spread beyond the crypto circle to NBA sensation Grayson Allen, FaZe Banks, and a slew of, um, other celebrities that saw their keys getting snatched up by their fans. Even VCs like Paradigm decided to hop onto the friend tech train. Wow, sounds groovy. How do I start? To start, you'll first need a special invite code, which you can easily grab from your friends or any of the influencers from crypto Twitter. Or sorry, sorry. X. Then simply follow the instructions to create an account and connect to X. Like Unibot, FriendTech will automatically create a wallet for you, which you'll need to deposit a minimum of 0.01 ETH from the Ethereum or base network. For privacy, it's advisable to use a burner wallet or sex to deposit funds into the platform. Otherwise, it may be all too easy for your main wallet address to be doxxed via its link to your X account. Once that's done, you'll be able to start buying and trading your friends. To rack up those airdrop points, you'll need to stay active on the app by buying and selling keys or sharing your personal invite codes to others. It's not all sunshine and roses for FriendTech though. Many question the staying power of FriendTech, not least due to the fact that an air 
airdrop has been blatantly teased since the app's launch. While it's hard to say whether there's going to be a token airdrop for sure, consensus on CT seems to point towards this. On top of that, the sustainability of the platform is questionable, given that the keys of top profiles on the platform can range from 0.1 ETH to over 7 ETH. So this certainly begs the question if all this activity is simply propped up by bored whales all pining for a lucrative airdrop. The incentive model of Frentech, which gives 5% of revenue to the owners of traded profiles, also naturally encourages popular public figures to jump on the bandwagon for easy money, as their keys will likely be traded by many, even if no real extra value is being provided through the use of the Frentech platform. To date, the platform has already earned its users 15 million in fees, with top profiles taking in hundreds of thousands of dollars each. While activity on Frentech has been volatile, as showcased by its volume and users, the fact is that it's still one of the most active dApps today, well, at least at the time when this video was made. Also, several parties have cited privacy concerns. Urine Finance contributor Bantech published a repository of Frentech user details using publicly available data showing how easy it is to dox users based on the link between their X profiles and wallet address. Since the wallet is automatically created for you when you sign up, there are also questions as to how and where the private keys are stored. Remember the ethos of crypto, not your keys, not your wallet. And while there are certain safeguards you can employ to minimize these issues, the fact is that these privacy concerns do exist exist and the question is how much are you willing to sacrifice in the name of friendship well friendtech is an example of how anything that can be tokenized will be tokenized it's an innovative attempt at tokenizing attention and influence reminiscent of web2 platforms like OnlyFans and patreon regardless concerns have been raised and it certainly doesn't hurt to play it safe with extra precautions and remember always always dyor if you want to learn more about decentralized social media, well then check out our previous video right here.